So thank you again. And now I would like to uh, welcome uh, Dr. Katarzyna Bonkowicz, who is affiliated with the University of Social Sciences and Humanities in, in Warsaw. And she will tell us a fascinating story about Blue Whale Game. Uh, her, her talk is entitled Fake News, Real Consequences, the Blue Whale Game Study. Uh, Dr. Bonkovic, uh, the screen is yours, please. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for invitation. Yes, the story about Blue Whale Game. Um, okay, so maybe at first, um, maybe at first uh, my presentation. Uh, just a moment. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so um, um, a few words of uh, introduction because um, the real consequences, the consequences of fake news are the part of my study about uh, Blue Whale Game. And there was uh, very big studies from uh, two years. And um, that was about um, fake news as a phenomenon in 21st century. So today about, uh, uh, about consequences. But uh, the first point, the important point is the birth of the Blue Whale game because um, the whole story began on March. 2016 in Russia, of course, when uh, Galina Mursayev in uh, Novaya Gazeta was published uh, her article about suicide to teenagers. Yeah, it was a, the title of this, uh, this article was Suicide Groups. And she, in this article, described um, in details uh, two suicides and everything will be okay, but um, an author connect these two suicides with 130 other suicides. And uh, uh, the one and only um, key um, and the common point was um, uh, the fact that every victim, every 130 person, has a, a profile of uh, contactee platform. So what is contactee platform? Contactee platform is uh, something like uh, Facebook, Russian Facebook, with the 90 uh, million users. So it's not so, um, not so, uh, not so small. Yeah. Uh, and uh, um, Galina Mursayev said in this article that um, the problem of those victims and uh, uh, and the common point was uh, uh, the blue whale game. And she said the blue whale game is as a game in the internet and uh, you log in on the sites with this game only in internet and you have your mentor or something like this and you have to do um, many things. And the last things, 50, uh, is a suicide. Yeah, and that's all. Um, next day, of course, after, after this publication, um, a lot of media from the, around the world um, has a question, okay, uh, what is the problem? What is the blue whale game? Um, how do you find an, every victim, all victims, 130 yeah, in Russia? Mm, and in the same, the same time, uh, after publication, next day after publication, uh, vice editor in chef was fired to the use of unacceptable methods of verifying information. Um, but the um, me media panic started. And it's very important fact here in this moment that uh, in the 2016, world media and the government institution in many countries confirmed that this, this story is fake. Yeah, so after a uh, journalist investigation and the uh, um, government process, uh, we knew it that uh, the story is fake. In 2016, too, was arrested Philip Budekin. Uh, he reported to the uh, police uh, himself and, and said that he is an author of this game. Now he is uh, in prison in Russia, but 
only for encouraging to um, commit suicide to teenagers, his friends, but not to teenagers from article and not to teenagers from 130 others in article. Um, but the story was beginning. Uh, what is the true story? The true story is that there is a game called Blue Whale and still is this game. And this game is only on the smartphones on, or tablets, not on the desktop. Mm, and this is a game uh, on the website of a French producer of Echo Apples. Uh, and this is not uh, this is not fake and this is not a joke. <laughs> and the goal of, and the game um, is that you uh, you are the blue whale. You have a basket of your head, basket with fruits, and you uh, have to overcome um, distance in different countries. So this is a very simple game to small kids. And the second fact is there are suicide groups on the internet which incite you to commit suicide. Um, on the full legal internet, uh, we have without problems find uh, web um, pages uh, with information about techniques and tools to commit suicide. Yeah? And the fake news in this Blue Whale Game story, it's connect to different unrelated facts. We have to remember that uh, fake news, there is not the same so false news. Sometimes in translation, we have a, a two, two words, fake news or uh, false news, but this is not the same. Uh, we have to remember about um, Claire Ward uh, typology. Uh, she um, gave us seven types of fake news between satire and lying. Uh, and fake news is in the middle of that. Yeah, so the lying is not the same um, uh, like fake news. Yeah, and in this, in this case, fake news, there are connect to real to different facts. Uh, methodology of my studies was uh, uh, I research media materials from 30 countries around the world. Um, and this was uh, uh, media in all four types, so press, radio, television, and internet. And I researched the content of media materials and visual components, see how uh, media presented the topic. And uh, today, Mm, today, my speech, uh, I research what were the reaction to the publication in all countries. And I would like to explain about this reaction and this consequences. Results. So these consequences were in 21 countries. Um, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Egypt, Ecuador, France, Greece, Honduras, Iran, India, Ireland, Canada, Kazakhstan, Kenya, Mexico, Mongolia, Malaysia, Moldova, Portugal, Russia, and USA. 21 from 30. I think it's a, um, it's a big number. Uh, I divide uh, the consequences into two types. And um, that one, uh, the most important fact here, uh, I would like to say that uh, this conclusion from this study is uh, the fact that the, in, in one material, in one from the 30 countries materials, um, was information that fake news, that Blue Whale Game is fake news. This is a one material from Austria. In any countries, in any materials, we haven't this information. And I think that um, a lot of materials still are in the internet. We can find them. So um, I divided the consequences into two types. First are the consequences of, on the educational system and the second on government institution. Um, in my opinion, these uh, consequences from education side are positive. Yeah, because in five countries, Bulgaria, India, Ireland, Honduras, and Canada, we had, a, for example, preventing medic in school with students and parents. Uh, we had educational campaigns about online threats. Yeah, so 
there, these consequences um, are the positive because they play a preventive role. Yeah, and now, if in 21st century, if we have a chaos of information, if we have a, too many fake news, yeah, and we have a problem to check uh, information, to verifying information. So every campaigns are good, and every meetings with students and parents and the people um, about knowledge and the tools against this information are positive but the results the consequences from government side or government's institution are not so so optimistic so in 80 can, 18 countries we have a very very uh, real life uh, consequences very serious consequences um, a lot of uh, that was in nine countries that are police action uh, actions and here uh, we had uh, two types of uh, Polish actions so our prevention and uh, investigations and that was a similar like in an educational um, consequences because this prevention that are meetings with people um, about the possibilities dangerous uh, and warning in internet yes so but um, initiation from this meeting was not from school, like in the other consequences, some the, from the uh, government's inf institution, from police. And the second was an investigation in every, um, every situation around uh, suicide. Uh, second popular uh, consequences, if we can uh, speak about it, uh, were uh, in four countries, were creating a department for fighting to uh, for fighting cybercrime and helping the victims. And I think that we're still in this uh, positive space of consequences because um, helping the victims is uh, still, we need this institution and the department for, cyber, for fighting cybercrime too. And everything will be okay, but we have to remember about one fact. Every consequences are only after media materials, only after publication, not after analysis, uh, consultation or something like that, not only after media publication. In two countries, in Kazakhstan and in Moldova, we had an extraordinary government meetings, only of the topic of blue whale game and possibilities uh, dangerous from this, uh, this situation. Um, I think that we have to see and we have to think about uh, about one type of uh, of this government's uh, consequences. There is from the Bangladesh. It's slowing down internet speeds during the night. Uh, between nine p.m. and six a.m., uh, internet speeds. Uh, was slowing down in Bangladesh. So in this moment, I uh, think, for example, about journalists who have to prepare news to the next day. Yeah, Maybe we need some information and without full uh, speed internet, it is impossible. So after media materials, only about maybe it's a blue whale game, maybe it's dangerous, it's slowing down internet speeds. In one country, in Russia, was the plans, um, in media articles, uh, we can um, read uh, about the plans of using army, the army against suicide groups on the internet. We don't know um, its continuation of, of this or not, but the plans uh, were. were. In uh, one country in Saudi Arabia was launching services that were to limit access to the game. And this is very, uh, very funny, I think, because which game? Yeah, so if we hadn't a uh, blue whale game, this blue whale game, this dangerous blue whale game, so which um, game we uh, were to limit access? And the second, in uh, one country too, in Egypt, was an official government appeal to the Ministry of Communication to block access to online game, games. We have to remember that online games now in 21st century are a big, big part of a branch of online business on um, computer business, internet business. Yeah. So um, 
block access to online games is a very big problem. It's an economy problem to, to, this, uh, to this part of this business. In one country in Ecuador, we had a request to Interpol in helping to prosecute game administrator, administrators. Mm, we know that, uh, that we haven't a uh, game administrator, uh, but in uh, Russia University, I don't remember um, name of professor made a study about uh, Blue Whale game administrator. And he said the uh, results was uh, were administrators, but uh, after media uh, materials too. So not before, not when when um, the Blue Way game was born, when the when this topic was started, when fake, fake news was born. So after media publication is Blue Way game and our administrators um, was a. Uh, we can find this administrator in online and very, uh, very important thing that every administrator was in the um, 10, 12 uh, years old. Yeah, so um, I think very, very young people. Uh, in one country in Iran was a blocking access to contact the platform. Uh, we have to remember that 90 million users without um, possibility to communicate in Iran after uh, media materials. Um, and which conclusions we have after, after this, this situation, when we, when we are listening on writing about, uh, about fake news, about the Blue Aid game, I think that we have to remember that fake news were, are, and will exist. And Blue Way game case show us that uh, fake news um, is very simple to prepare, it's very simple to distribute, and it's real warning uh, to all of us as a uh, society, modern society. And we have to remember that the consequences are very serious, and we have to remember that we as a user of users of, of social media, we participate in distribution process. Um, if we haven't awareness about online, about cyber crime and about fake news, we need um, knowledge, we need the tools to verify information and we have to start thinking before yeah, for example, uh, a study from, I suppose it from MIT, but I don't remember clearly, is a study about, um, do you remember from where uh, you share an article of your social media? 80% users don't remember from where are articles on my wall, for example, on Facebook. So I think that this is dangerous because this is a, simple way to distribute fake news, like, for example, uh, Blue Whale game. So I think that we, we can't stop um, fake news, but we can limit uh, society impact of fake news. Uh, we have to build in an awareness of media. We have to, we need to still observe and uh, educate um, educate us and, and react, what if I see a fake news? And um, so I have here uh, my, of, of course, uh, only my uh, proposition um, that uh, if we gave uh, a tools from journalists, from media, and for us, for society, we can uh, limit uh, fake news uh, society impact. Media needs a standards of verifying information. Media needs a more discuss about ethics and media needs tools to checking process. Now we have to remember that inside, in the newsrooms, in redaction, we have a mm, conflict without, uh, uh, conflict between uh, ethics and economy, and the journalists are in the middle, 
and they have um, preparing an articles, preparing a media materials um, without ethics or without economy side, and they have um, still um, still problem with that. And we need a society education campaign. Knowledge about disinformation took to, tools to checking information. Now, okay, um, we are speaking about, okay, check information, check in two places, yeah? Um, but where? Where? Con we need concrete. We need concrete knowledge. Is uh, good... Um, it is a good source. Uh, this is BBC or maybe um, po Polish public television. Yeah, which source is good? Which source is um, gave us true? Yeah, and of course we have to start um, discussion about responsibility, because I think that not this responsibility of fake news is not in only in media and not in social media. As I think this responsibility is, uh, is in the middle, yeah? Because we have to think that lying, it's more, um, it's better for, for our brain, for our, bra uh, our mind, yeah? It's uh, more interesting. And um, we have to give people knowledge about true and false and fake news and speak about it. Um, and now is discussion um, in the public discourse is uh, about what can we do with fake news? And I ask, what can we do before we prepare to fake news? Because if we have fake news, of course, we can delay it or not. We can share or not. But this fake news is. And I ask, what can we do? Uh, before preparing fake news process. Thank you uh, very much.